I've had the Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill for about eight years at this point. Both of the boots have been rehealed once and resold once. So essentially rehealed twice because when they do a full resole, they have to replace the stacked heel. Now I've said a number of times that this is one of the best shoe or boot purchases that I've made in my entire life. Now this boot is the first ever boot that I purchased for very good money, made in America, Goodyear welded, which just means that you can have the bottoms replaced there, just sewn onto the upper right there. And these were also my daily winter boots, especially when I used to be walking around New York City for sometimes 10 miles, working as a field engineer in the IT industry. But the time has come for me to move on and let go of these boots. I will either be donating them or selling them at a very cheap price. So this will serve as the final review of the Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill standard Chrome XL boot. Also why I'm actually getting rid of them and what I'll be wearing instead in the future. Okay, pros of the Higgins Mill boot. Comfort is top notch. I would say nine out of 10 on the comfort scale. These were my 10 mile boots as I call. Basically I came up with this idea in my head that if a boot is not that comfortable, it's more of a one or two mile boot. If it's mildly comfortable, then it's a five mile boot. But if it's very comfortable, it is a 10 mile boot. So these comfort was absolutely top notch for a number of years. They are also incredibly stylish. They are not big. They are not bulbous or bulky at all. And I typically don't love the plain toe boots. I always go for either a wingtip or a cap toe design, but just something about the silhouette of these plain toe boots makes them really nice. They toe that line between dressy and casual perfectly. And honestly, they are one of the nicest pair of those dress hybrid boots where it's not a full dress boot, but you could also dress it up to a casual suit. It's not super rugged either. Of course, the price is a big advantage of these boots. These being the standard ones, they came out in 2016. List price was $350. I got them on sale for $250, which was an amazing value. And speaking of value, we have to talk about quality. Quality is absolutely top notch. As you can see, very, very shiny. There's that welt right there. Again, these have been resold and rehealed. So we do have one full resole going on right there. You can see not a whole lot of insane wrinkles right there. It's nice and tasteful where you can tell that the boot is worn right there, but it's not crazy. It's not super deep creasing like some of the other Chrome XL boots. And here is the right boot, a little bit more creasing up there, but still the quality you could see around where the ball of your ankle sits really overall, very, very nice, very high quality boot, especially for that sale price of $250 or even at $350, these are great. Now I should mention, I haven't been keeping shoe trees in these, so you could see it still holds its shape very well. And I don't remember the last time I polished or conditioned these, it's gotta be like almost two years right now. Which brings us to the cons of these boots, price. They used to be $350, but in the last eight years since they have come out, a pair of these would be $495 list price, not on sale. You'd be lucky to get them for under 400, close to 350. That's a bargain price nowadays here at the end of 2024. But I also wanna mention they did discontinue the standard one and now they just have the weatherproof, waterproof one which is slightly different. We will talk about this one a bit later in the video. It makes a bit more sense to have weatherproofing on this boot since a lot of people are going to be wearing in the fall and winter in the rain and the snow. But it looks like Allen Edmonds has replaced the standard Chrome XL Higgins Mill with the weatherproof Higgins Mill. And list price for these without a sale is gonna run you $495. Now that day-night rubber outsole, while it is very durable and it lasts years of walking 10 miles a day or at least five miles a day through the concrete in New York City, it can get pretty stiff and pretty inflexible, meaning that your feet will fatigue a bit faster than if you're wearing something that's a bit more flexible, like a leather soled boot or a leather soled dress shoe. These boots also do not breathe very well at all. They are very, very warm, almost too warm to the point where when I was wearing them for that first winter when I had them, when I went inside my office, which was in the middle of Manhattan, I actually had to start to take my shoes, take these off, just because my feet were sweating and overheating like crazy. And I wasn't even wearing any type of warm wool socks. I was just wearing a cheap pair of 
cotton athletic socks at the point, my feet still got a little bit too hot. I did wanna mention I was about 15 or 20 pounds overweight way back then, believe it or not, and there must have been a lot more fat on my feet, meaning that my feet just got hot a bit easier since I have worn these a couple of times this season just to make sure, you know, just to make sure I actually wanna get rid of them. I don't wanna make the mistake of getting rid of them and then thinking that, oh man, I should have kept them. My experience with the breathability of these shoes is a little bit different. They're still warm, but they're not overbearing like they were. And of course, this is wearing them in 45 to 50 degree weather, not 30 to 20 degree weather way back in the day. The only thing that makes sense is I am much slimmer now than eight years ago when I got them. And it seems like my feet aren't as sensitive to the heat of these boots, probably because I have less fat on them. Something that doesn't make a lot of sense to me is the weatherproof version of the Higgins Mill, the new updated one, breathes a little bit better than the standard one. Maybe they're using thinner leather. I actually thought that these would be hotter than the regular ones, but go figure, these are a little bit better than the standard version of the Higgins Mill. So this is a problem of yesteryear since these are discontinued and these are their replacement, the weatherproof ones that is. And the final disadvantage is going to be comfort, specifically in the heel area. I mentioned that when I first got these, I was walking forever in them, but those days that I clocked, I walked close to 10 miles, I would start to get sore heels by the end of the day. But now it only takes me just walking for an hour or two, four or five miles, and my heels start to get sore. I think as I've gotten older, my heels are a lot more sensitive to shoes that don't have any heel cushioning right here. So if you're someone like me and you've got any sort of plantar fasciitis or you've just got very sensitive heels and you have to always wear something with a little bit of cushioning, these boots you're not going to find as comfortable. That is the camp that I fall into now. So while the comfort initially was a big advantage, it's now turned into a bit of a disadvantage. For me, currently, these are only about a seven out of 10 comfort and they're only about a four or five mile shoe. Not uncomfortable, but not great for walking super long distances. Now those disadvantages, namely the lack of comfort in the heel section of the boot, are the main reason why I am getting rid of them. But as time has gone on and my shoe and boot wardrobe has grown and has evolved, I don't reach for these pretty much unless I think about, oh, I haven't worn the Higgins Mill in a long time, let me wear them. But if they were tucked away in a closet, I wouldn't even think about them. I would literally forget that I had them. So what am I going to wear instead? Well, the main competitor and the main casual rugged boot that I reach for pretty much all fall and winter and early spring would have to be the Thursday Captain in the Whiskey Storm King model. This is a very, very nice leather. I really like the color. I really like the texture of it. And that Storm King lugged outsole, as you could see right there, it is not as sleek as the day night sole, but I find that these just have a little bit better comfort or significantly better comfort, I should say, in the heel. And the soles are just a bit more flexible. Remember I said the day night soles in these aren't as flexible, even though they're totally broken in. But these definitely are more of like a nine out of 10 comfort where the Higgins Mill are a seven out of 10. And a quick shout out to our sponsor. It's not Alan Edmonds. It's not Thursday. It's you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for subscribing, interacting. It really means a lot and I really appreciate that. Speaking of sponsorships, neither Alan Edmonds nor Thursday nor any other shoe or any other company asked me to make this video, which just means I can give you my honest opinion and say that if you are going from a pair of Alan Edmonds boots to a pair of Thursday boots, you have to reset your expectations. A boot that's gonna cost 350 to 500 is going to be a lot higher quality and last a lot longer than a boot that only cost $200. That being said, if comfort and a better value boot are more important to you, the Thursday should be right up your alley. You just can't expect a pair of Thursday boots to hold up and last nearly as long as a pair of Allen Edmonds. So for a rugged, casual, comfortable boot, the Thursday Captain checks all the boxes, but it is not going to be anywhere near as dressy or formal as the Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill. So when I do need to dress more formally, instead of reaching for the Thursdays, I will be reaching for my Allen Edmonds Dalton wingtip dress boots, which as you could tell, this is an actual dress boot. You can wear it all the way up to a pretty formal suit. And if you get something like this in black, it's gonna be really hard for someone to tell the difference between these and a standard pair of dress shoes. But the big advantage to dress boots over dress shoes is that they are significantly more comfortable. Now the Dalton is by far the most comfortable dress shoe or dress boot that I have ever bought, ever worn. It is a shame that Allen Edmonds decided to discontinue it. Maybe they'll reintroduce it into their lineup next year. Sometimes they tend to do that. But anyway, the Dalton wingtip dress boot is both more formal and more comfortable when compared to even the nice Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill. And since I can wear these, there's no issue for me to get rid of these. 
Now there is another Allen Edmonds dress boot that I was looking at for a long time and I decided to pull the trigger. It is none other than the Allen Edmonds Landon cap toe boot. And honestly, I'm really psyched about this boot. I've worn it a couple of times already. The comfort is very, very well better than the Higgins Mill, even though it does have that day-night rubber outsole. And if you look at the top and you look at the profile, it almost looks like a more dressy pair of Thursday, more dressy pair of the Thursday Captain. It's practically the same silhouette, a cap toe slim boot, whereas the Thursday is pretty casual, pretty hard to wear with a suit. The Landon Capto boot is a nice shiny calfskin leather, and you can definitely wear this with a suit while retaining the comfort of a dress boot. And since I live in New York City, a lot of times I end up wearing my Cole Haan Original Grand wingtips all season long, even during the winter, just because they are so stylish and so comfortable for what they are. So I did pick up a pair of the Cole Haan Original Grand chucka boots and the benefit to these is they actually do have the waterproof lining and they do run a bit warmer than just a standard pair of Cole Haan hybrid wingtips, the original grands. And these have been great. The leather is nice and soft. They feel like you're wearing sneakers and they look a lot better. Now, of course, the hybrid shoe is not going to be anywhere near as timeless or classic or stylish for that matter as a pair of Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill. But like I mentioned, I've got my Thursdays, I've got my Dalton wingtips, I've got my Allen Edmonds cap toe dress boots. So this is just something that's a lot more stylish than a sneaker or a waterproof hiking boot. And finally, I wanted to talk about the Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill weatherproof version. I thought that I would be getting rid of the standard ones because I had the weatherproof version. However, eventually I might get rid of these as well, just because I find that these do wrinkle pretty bad. You could see over there, we have a lot of wrinkles. Over there, we have a lot of wrinkles. The left boot, the wrinkles aren't as bad on the toe. Just overall, the weatherproof version feels cheaper and they just don't have as much comfort on the inside as the standard Higgins Mill. I'm talking the footbed where your foot actually sits, the underfoot comfort is just a little bit better in the standard Higgins Mill. I'm not sure what's going on there, but that is what is leading me to think about getting rid of these in the future. But since I just showed you, I have four other great options as far as nice stylish boots go. It might not make any sense for me to keep these either, just because that lack of comfort has become a problem for me. Now, of course, there is nothing pushing me to get rid of these by a certain amount of time. I'm not moving anytime soon that I know of. We never know what comes in the future. There's not an issue of space. We live in a pretty spacious apartment. I don't have a lot of stuff. However, as time has gone on, I have more of a minimalist approach when it comes to material possessions, not just with boots or shoes, with bikes, with sunglasses, with sweaters, with shirts, with jackets, with everything. Sometimes as the years go by, we end up buying new things because they're on sale or we see something and we like it. And then we turn around and we have 30, 40, 50 pairs of shoes, 10 pairs of watches, 30 pairs of eyeglasses, and it can become a lot more challenging to keep your home nice and neat when you just have too much stuff. So maybe you identify with that minimalist approach and you only wanna keep a couple of pairs, while some of you might enjoy actually collecting things like watches or boots or shoes, since there are a lot of awesome boots out there. So there you go, Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill Standard Chrome XL final review. This is how a pair of well-made, made in America, dress boots from a good company like Allen Edmonds can last you. We're going on eight years, resold once, and I could probably keep them for another 10 years, honestly, if I wear them a lot, since you can usually resole a pair of Goodyear welted shoes minimum two, maybe maximum three times. As always, thanks for watching.